Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tiffany. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to get straight into it. So, you guys, yesterday, hopefully this can be, like, a kind of my word of encouragement for the week or something positive that happened. Um, so, yesterday, I wasn't having a good day. I wasn't feeling good. I was feeling sick on the stomach. And it was just some things that happened that wasn't good. And I was feeling kind of down. So anyways, after work, I had to stop by the store. And I was just so stressed going in. First, I left the store and went to another store. And then they didn't have anything I wanted at that store. Um, well, I went. I left Walmart and went to Family Dollar or the Dollar General. And they didn't have anything that I needed there. So I had to go back to Walmart. So anyways, I went in Walmart to grab a few things that I needed. And I rung everything up at the self-checkout and I left. So as I got to the car, I noticed that... Um, there was some, oh, that, that I had had some Italian dressing um, that I didn't pay for. And it was one of the real big bottles, too, like the king-size bottle. I don't even know if that's a, if that's something, if it comes in. Anywho, anywho it was a big size um, bottle of Italian dressing. So I was like, oh, gosh, I don't feel like, you know, going back in there. And I could have just got in my car and left, but I didn't feel right. I felt like I was stealing. So... I said, you know what, let me just run back in here real quick and pay for this. So I grabbed the bottle of Italian dressing and I ran back. And I was already having a horrible day. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. But I need to do this because, you know, I, I won't feel right. And I already felt horrible. So I go back in and a guy at the um, the greeter at the door, I told him, I said, sir, you know, I need to pay for this. Um, I said, I'm so sorry. I said, I got to my car and after putting my groceries inside the car, I noticed that this was um, sitting beside my purse and I did not pay for it and I just would like to pay for it so he kind of paused for a minute and stared at me like and then so he was like okay ma'am he said you can go ahead so I went over back to self-checkout and I paid for the Italian dressing and as I was coming back to walk out to leave Walmart I noticed the guy the greeter he started walking towards me and I was like oh lord like what's gonna happen he's gonna call security or what so anyways um he came to me and he had like a wad of cash in his hand and I was like, and he was trying to give it to me. I was like, what's that? What's this for? What is it? And um, he was like, that's for you. He said, I want to thank you so much for doing that. Thank you for coming back. And he got teary eyed. He said, thank you for coming back and thank you for doing that. And I wasn't going to take it, but he said, no, please take it. Um, so he paid for the Italian dressing for me. Like he was in so so uh, he was so shocked that I was honest enough to come back and pay for the Italian dressing. I know a lot of times people say, um, girl, please, I'd have gotten that car and left, you know. But I just felt in my heart that I needed to pay for it. And, you know, I was already having a horrible day. So I was like, that's the last thing I need is that uh, to be thinking about that. And then, you know, to add that on my list. So and then who knows next time they probably would have raided me because they probably would have seen me driving off or leaving with the that Italian dress and I don't know I just felt in my heart that I felt like I was stealing so I paid for it and wind up getting a blessing from it for me he actually gave me back the money for the Italian dressing so he paid for it so I want to say thank you sir from the bottom of my heart and you know out of that in that storm that I was having um came a blessing you know even though I was having such a bad day something good came out of it, it was, it's kind of weird but um that really touched my heart so i wanted to share that story with you guys and i don't know it just felt it just it was amazing it was awesome so i just wanted to share that with you guys i'm at work i think today is our last day um we are closing because as you guys know if you don't know it is bad here in san antonio the numbers um are really really bad with this pandemic and we have doubled and it's it's getting even worse you guys so I hope everybody has been safe out there. I hope you guys have a fantabulous day. Um, wear your mask. I know some people say, ah, but I think some of them don't know because they don't work um, in hospital settings or, you know, you don't have to work in hospital settings. People that don't work in a hospital are suffering from this virus. Um, so I guess for some people who don't actually know somebody that's suffering from this or that's been affected, they kind of don't believe or they think that they're a superhero and that they will never get it you will it this it doesn't matter what race you are um or where you're from um everybody um can go down with this virus 
Um, so you just really got to be careful. Anyways, I wish everyone the best. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys in my next video. All right. Peace. Drop me a comment down below, you guys. And let me know if something like that's happened to you before. And if you took it back in and pay for it. Or if you have anybody that's um, suffering from this horrible virus or if you guys are closing down again. So we just opened back up and now we're closing again. But it's okay. I'm going to go home and quarantine once again. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. All right. Peace.